yesterday uh, what we discussed yesterday we learn about the introduction to sap ecc and bw so what exactly happens on the source system which is ecc in our case and uh, what, how like uh, then we we seen something about bw that it is a reporting system and we will bring data from uh, ecc system into bw so we will call this acc or we will we can call it as a r3 system also okay now today from today as it is a bw4 hana uh, you know classes so we are going to learn in depth about you know bw4 hana uh, objects and all okay so today in our class i am going to you know introduce about the objects in bw4 hana and then yeah we can proceed so going back to the system So yesterday what we discussed on BW4 HANA, what are the different kind of objects that are available, we discussed. One is info object which can store master data and transaction master data and ADS force which we, which we use to store the transactional data. And the composite providers are used as the virtual providers. Uh, here we don't store any data but uh, we do reporting based on this composite provider. Okay. Uh, like queries, we will create BEX queries on top of composite provider and we do reporting. So come, we will learn about each and every object in detail now. Okay. So before learning, uh, starting going to learn about objects. So first take one scenario. Okay. Let's take one scenario uh, called sales data. Okay. What is sales data? Sales data means, for example, if we went to a um, any, a, uh, yeah any shop there uh, if we buy something groceries from the shop we will get one bill okay so we will use this uh, sample data of the bill to learn our concepts okay so what in the bill what are the important uh, points yesterday also we discussed what are the in bill we will have bill number okay and date on which it was uh, created and the materials like uh, we can say what are the materials we created uh, we uh, we buy it from the shop and quantity so uh, when it comes to quantity we need unit also as it is a units or kg you know uh, kilograms or uh, liter something like that okay corresponding unit we need it so this is the basic information in a bill so what will happen now in the r3 system for example we have data okay let's take 1001 and date is uh, 2020 no, sorry date is uh, let's take 01 first day of march 2022 and the material let's take uh, material as m1 okay and quantity as 100 and unit as pieces pieces let's take this as an example the information in our bill so when we bring this information into bw system let's take this is acc or r3 system So in R3 system, we will find more every all the data at a table level. So let's consider this is a table where we have one bill information. Now I am bringing this information into my BW system. In the BW system, where exactly I can store this transactional data? I can store this transactional data on uh, we seen yesterday uh, on ADS force. As per uh, yeah, ADS force are transactional data. So ADS force are used to store the transaction data. So in BW, so we have to create some trans from some ADS force to store this information. So, okay, let's take, we need to create one ADS for. But before creating ADS for, <coughs> okay, here, uh, anything BW is again built on one database only, correct? So this ADS for also in the backend, it is in the form of table only. Okay, it is in the form of table only. So whatever data, uh, whatever data we are bringing from R3 into BW, in the BW also, it is stored in the form of table only, but we don't call it as a table. We call it as a ADS4, okay, provider. We call it as a provider. So like advanced data store object, ADS4 means. So in order to create this ADS4, we need some other objects those are called info objects okay to create one ads4 we, we need to create some prerequisites for it so what are those are nothing but info objects 
So in BW, each column in the table in the ADS4 is nothing but one one info object. Okay. So in BW, we need one uh, billing number info object. We need one date info object, material info object, quantity info object, and the unit also info object. So everything for every column in this uh, in this data to store, I need one corresponding info object. So that's why first we need to learn about info object, and then we will go for the ADS4 concept. Okay, so now let's see how to create one info object in uh, BW4 HANA system. Okay, so uh, before going to the system, uh, I need to introduce something about HANA Studio. Okay, because I am going to use HANA Studio, or we can use Eclipse also to work on this, uh, you know, uh, on BW4 HANA system. Okay, whatever either it is a HANA Studio or Eclipse. Everything is same, only the uh, name of the application we are using is different. Remaining everything are same. Okay. So when I open any HANA Studio, for example, let's close this one and reopen the HANA Studio to see how it looks like. So when I click on open on the HANA Studio, generally we will get one pop up. Let's see it's coming or not. Okay, it's not calling. If we if we uh, doesn't give any default workspace, we will get one work one uh, component call as workspace selection. Just click on OK, then you will uh, you get this kind of screen. Okay. Uh, if you want to work on the BW uh, for HANA on the HANA Studio or Eclipse, you need one perspective. You have to open BW modeling perspective. Okay. Remember, this is the logo for the BW modeling. So to work on this BW4 HANA objects, you need to open the BW modeling perspective. Okay. So if you click on this button, this you know open perspective button, which is on the right hand side, then we will get one something like this, one window or all the where we can see all perspectives. Here you have to open BW modeling. Okay. Click on it, open it. So it's already opened in my case. Okay, after opening, generally what will happen is you see here already one system. Generally, if it is a fresh system, first time you are using, you don't see anything here. You have to add your system with system BW system because we are on BW perspective. We have to add our BW system here. So go to the plus icon here, open new, like a below to file. We have an icon, right? Click on this arrow mark, then it will ask for BW project. You have two things. One is BW project, another one is normal project. You should say you must select the BW project only. Okay, to work on the BW components. So when you select on the BW project, it will open your SAP uh, this kind of window. This window is nothing but your SAP logon pad. If you see your logon pad currently in my logon pad, I have only one system. Correct. Now here also I can see the same system. What, how many uh, systems you have on your logon pad? Same number of systems you can see on this window also. Okay, so now this is my BW system. So I am selecting it and then clicking on next. And then I need to give my user ID, password, and everything. After giving my user ID and password, okay, I will uh, I will get. You see, I added a new one, right? That's why I got a new one here like this. Okay. So I will get one system in this way. So this is old one. This is a new one. You see this one. So if you see here favorites, repository, data sources, like these kind of folders, then we call it as a BW respective uh, project. Okay. If it is a ABAP project, you will see different kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, folder structure here. Okay. So this is first step. And then if we expand the BW repository, here you can see some already configured some folders. Each folder here is nothing but one one info area. In our BW terminology, we call all these as info areas. Okay. And if I open, for example, from SAP GUI, the same screen. Okay. In BW, uh, in, uh, in SAP GUI. If you want to navigate to similar kind of screen in a SAP GUI, you have to uh, give RSA1, RSA1, okay? So here one point to remember, yeah, here one point to remember, in BW4 HANA, you don't find this kind of, you know, structure. Here many things got removed from this RSA1 in BW4 HANA, 
okay only bw 7.0 uh, earlier versions have all these components okay so here but when it comes to in bw 400 you have must work on this screen only okay hana studio so all these called as info areas okay um, now what we do is we will create our own info area okay and then we will start so info areas are nothing but a folder kind of structure okay if you want to store all your objects in one place then we need to create one info area uh, like a similar to our uh, desktop uh, you know in our laptops if you want to store all our uh, you know files in one folder generally we create one folder uh, like, like for movies and for pictures and all right same way in order to organize our data in bw we need to create our own folders but here folders are not specific with our names okay na? when it comes to bw we must in real time in real time we create folders according to the functional area okay like for sales data, I will create one info area. For finance data, I will create one area. In the finance, if I have P and L, if I have some, you know, different uh, sub components, then I will create sub info areas in the uh, in the info area. Like a folder within the folder, another folder, same kind. I have info area. I can create another info area within that info area. Okay, in this way. In real time, we don't create info areas with our own names. We will create info area with the um, uh, content areas okay uh, let me see if i have anything to show some examples you see for bpc ip extension one info area integrated planning they created one info area and within this info area again in the integrated planning we have planning process management planning functions are there okay so all this you have separate separate info areas are there okay that's all so now what uh, i will show you how to create info area here okay uh, let's create one info area here. Right click on it, go to new and go to info area. So info area name, let me give it as a, uh, here I would like to give, uh, create info area um, as a SR underscore training. Okay. Um, training objects. Okay. So I'm clicking on finish. So this is how to create an info area in BW4 HANA. So the first component which we learned in BW4 HANA is a creating info area. Sir, technical advantage EM less EM one the sir, then so then yeah so uh, in real time we will create info areas uh, 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 you know for finance info, info area under that we will create ap ar something like that okay so creating uh, dividing our work into multiple sub parts is very important okay it is not correct to keep everything in under one info area which is like looks like a messy okay organizing the objects in particular you know in a sections is very important okay sometimes project wise also we may have info areas okay because if we take one company in the one company like one organization in the same organization we have multiple areas are there like uh, sales we have separate area and uh, for example manufacturing we have separate uh, info area and each one have their again own one you know objects and all right like that okay no? maybe yeah few are at least helpful Let, let's save it info area nothing more than that so once we created info area under the info area now we were going to create our info objects so how to create info objects in bw4 hana right click on the you know right click on the info area right go to new here you have info object selection okay select info object you know this is the uh, creation like you know um, creation window of an info object so what are the main components here we will learn one by one so when I'm creating a new info object, so first of all, anything if you in BW, if you create the first one, it asks is technical name. Okay, name means technical name. We call it as a technical name. Description means it is like a description for this technical name, like employee ID and the current uh, employee person name, right? In the same way, in BW, we need to provide a unique name for each info object. You cannot create two info objects with the same name okay so for example now let's go to our example to understand better so i want to create info objects to my ads4 
so my first info object name is bill number second uh, like in uh, first info object i want to create for bill number so i cannot give uh, the uh, when coming to the creation of info object the technical name of the info object there is a restriction i can create uh, till uh, uh, eight or nine characters only okay sorry uh, i am poor in remembering this one a uh, z uh, okay i will go for naming convention so my here my intention is i want to create info object for bill number this is my requirement here so i am going to create my info object uh, so when before i am creating i need to think of few things so what was the technical name that i am going to provide in every project there is a one document called uh, naming convention document that is must and should for every project okay so in the in that naming convention document they will clearly specify if you are creating an info object follow these are the naming standards for example if you are naming uh, 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 custom info objects in bw uh, will starts with g okay this is a z but we call it a g okay z uh, after that uh, what i'm uh, what naming convention i am following is i will give g since it is a custom info object and then i will give sr sr is my you know standard naming convention to identify all my objects created in this particular system okay in the same way like uh, you can follow your naming convention if possible i will show one naming convention document in coming days okay so i am following zsr followed by my um, info object relevant description so bill number so i am going to give bill underscore num so how many characters are given here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so almost 13 characters are there here okay so but it is not correct system won't accept these many characters for technical name okay bill number description you can give how, how whatever you want but you know uh, for this one system won't allow you see object name must be between three and nine characters so your object name must be minimum three characters maximum nine characters but i given too much length here right so that's why system won't allow so now i need to reduce my technical name so when i comes to redu reduction of my technical name first i need to remove my special characters okay then I, my second preference of removing here is the ovals okay a e i o u these i need to these i need to remove so i am removing u here and uh, i here okay let's see how many characters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so now you see when i see here um, bll num nm okay bill number that's it like this we need to uh, create our info object okay if you want to give some other it's fine it's up to you but uh, the general way of consideration is uh, first we need to remove the ovals from our technical name okay so technical name i given description i given so next is copy from reference info object these two copy we will cover later point so the next two important topics to cover here is info object type and the data type okay so one second sorry okay so the next here is info object type okay so what are the different info object types we have we have characteristic info object key figure unit and a double excel so in entire bw system we have four different types of info object types okay characteristic key figure unit and double excel so let's discuss uh, uh, about these four for few seconds few minutes at least hmm. so what is the first one characteristic key figure unit and a double excel okay so what is what are characteristics means bill number like uh, any string format of data can be considered as a characteristic okay so here bill number so i can consider it as a characteristic but what first of all let me go for key figures whichever is not key figure then we can consider all remaining as characteristics also okay uh, units are excluding <laughs> okay so key figures first of all let's learn about key figures first so key figures are nothing but the columns on which we perform arithmetic operations comes under key figures uh, what are the examples quantity so we will do the summation of quantity let's take currency we need to perform some summation of quantities for example summation of uh, currencies for example uh, if you if, if i want to know the sales complete value how much amount i sold in the entire month then i need to sum up uh, that entire you know uh, amount values so amount is one kind of key figure but uh, for example let's come under serial number 
serial number do i do any uh, you know uh, arithmetic operation on serial number which is on 1 2 3 4 even though these are numeric numbers i never perform arithmetic operations on these numbers that's why this comes under characteristic okay let's take phone number phone number is purely numeric number but still i don't perform any arithmetic operations so it comes under you know uh, characteristic zip code even though zip code is a numeric number it comes under characteristics okay like this you need to identify which are key figures which are characteristics so in this particular example bill number is a characteristic date is a date is not a uh, yeah, date also a characteristic okay material is a characteristic quantity is a key figure key figure means k by f okay a key figure means k by f so key figure uh, quantity is a key figure unit so clearly we have one kind of info object type called unit okay so this unit what is unit uh, in bw mostly quantity and currency these are the main two key two key figures which are associated with the units so quantity means if we buy something for example if you buy rice then you can call it as like uh, bags right one or two bag three bag if you buy some oil, then we call it as a liter. If you buy some soaps, then also you will uh, count with some quantity like pieces. How many pieces of soaps you bought, right? So every quantity must be associated with the corresponding unit and every currency. For example, you, you purchased a total of 100 rupees. Then 100 is the key figure and this uh, rupees is there, right? This is nothing but our unit, okay? 100 dollars, then USD is the unit okay 100 euros euro is the currency unit so this is quantity unit this is currency unit okay so in bw mostly these two are only associated with the corresponding units okay max i can say so this unit comes under unit dimension okay so what uh, the leftover part is the double xl double xl is nothing but in the characteristic uh, we have a restriction of length we can create max 256 we can store up to max 256 characters in any characteristic okay for example if you if you take a material description kind of one max 256 characters it will allow if if we if the particular uh, sorry, anything more than 256 characters come characteristic any characteristic which is more than 256 then we must create that info object as a double xl info object Okay, now this is the basis for the this double XL info object. Now go back to the SAP GUI. I want to create a bill number. So this bill number definitely not more than 256 characters. So it is a characteristic type of info object. And then comes to data type. So let's learn about data type. So what are the different data types we have in BW? So care, numsy, dates, times, and sign and numeric character. Okay, sign and numeric character. So, care, numsy, dates, times. Let's uh, learn about these four. Sign, numeric character, we see a later part. So, care, numeric, dates, times. Care, numeric, uh, dates, time. Okay. So, come, coming to care and numeric. So, what is numeric? What is care means? Uh, first, we learn about numeric. Then, we can come to care. It will be easy to understand. If you, if for example, you are creating uh, some data, here you are storing phone number. Okay. You are storing phone number also in on your data. Okay. So when you create this phone number kind of info object, you must select this data type as a numc. For example, if you are creating a, a one, a one for serial number, if you are creating info object, then you must select this characteristic data type as numc. Uh, okay. Numc. Why we are going for numc? Okay, you can create these two with characteristic also, but creating this info object with the numc, you know, data type gives you, uh, whenever you try to insert some characteristics here, system will stop you storing this information. For example, here, if you try to store Srinivas, you know, kind of data string, system will give you error message. Numbers are not allowed into this info object. Okay. So it acts as a data check. If, if you define your info object with the proper data type, then system will uh, helps you to the for the proper data maintenance. Okay. Okay. And then a serial number also, uh, same thing. If you give characteristic, there is a chance of, you know, having some unnecessary invalid cares here. 
so that's why you go for numc here num uh, numc data type okay bill number it may be alpha numeric any string any characteristic which stores alpha numeric data then you go for character char type any any data any character string which stores only numeric values then you go for numc and date and time is very easy to identify wherever you are storing date information go for date type wherever you are storing your time information like how two o'clock three o'clock like that you can go for time data type okay i hope it is clear so far it's not too complex to understand so now i'm creating bill number which is alpha numeric because sometimes bill number starts with the uh, characters also that's why i'm going with the character string so info object type and data type both i am defined now i am clicking on finish button so almost i am in the first phase of creating info object it is done first step of the creation of info object is done now coming to this screen now we need to learn about more about this screen okay at this point of time i don't want to explain each and everything on this screen uh, later sessions we go for the in detail of each and every option okay as it was the first session on bw4 hana let's make it uh, simple okay so when you want to create info object in the real time environment so what is your first job first job is to identify the info object type char so this is also char the, uh, sorry this is a date uh, yeah this is also character this is also char this is key figure this is unit okay this is your first step of identifying info object type the next is uh, identifying the technical name okay like uh, you need to uh, uh, you know give the technical names to it so gsr underscore bill i will remove it right b l l n m okay like this uh, gsr underscore date one two three four five six seven eight this is fine so gsr underscore mat okay gsr underscore q u a n quantity 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Quantity. And then G is okay. unit. When it comes to unit, if necessary, only we create unit or else we always use zero unit for quantity unit. Uh, what we use? We use zero unit for to define the unit of a quantity. Okay. So next. So um, what else here? quantity ah uh, yeah if it is a currency then we go for zero currency we see in coming sessions of that one too okay so i define this one so next is the this is first step defining info object type second step is identifying the technical name third step is the you can jumble to a third. <coughs> sorry length of the info object so bill number generally in sap bw uh, most of the document number delivery number bill numbers everything with length 10 okay date is always 8 you when you provide this as a date data type or system will take by default it as a 8 material in bw mostly it is either 80 or 40 i think 18 let's take it 18 decimal play quantity uh, we no need to think about length of the quantity field and unit field because we use standard zero info object and here we use the quantity data type system will take care of the you know, length and the decimal places here okay so when uh, coming back again to the uh, sap screen so it is asking you see data type already we defined in the initial screen now we need to our requirement is to update the length by default sap gives five as a length but as per your requirement you need to change the length so my requirement length is 10 so i am giving 10 here and then simply activate the info object since we are on the beginning of the learning of pw4 hana let's uh, create info object in this simple manner and then we will you know go for uh, you see now in my info area one uh, folder created of type characteristic in below to it i got my info object okay now i quickly quickly create the other info objects so i need one info object for uh, let's say for what i need one info object for material okay so g a date i am not creating right why i am not creating i will tell you because i need to cover some other topic that's why i am not creating date for now jsr underscore uh, mat is my technical name here description is material characteristic characteristic uh, click on finish 
length 18 okay and then click on activate and then activate nice okay then activate so we created it so why i am not created date and date and remaining so what i will do is for remaining info objects date quantity and unit what i am going to do is instead of creating a custom info object i would like to use standard info object okay zero cal day so what is standard info object sap you know sap studied each and every business and sap designed this product bw product so to make the customer happy like uh, to reduce the work burden of creating each and everything on his own sap created some info objects we call them as standard info objects okay with proper naming convention length and everything okay so we can reuse these info objects in our development instead of creating everything and wasting our time we can use these standard info objects okay for data generally we use zero cal day or sometimes we use date also but uh, better to use cal day because the description of cal zero cal day is calendar day which is almost similar to our description for quantity it is giving zero quantity okay zero quantity is the standard info object given by sap uh, to use in our day to you know in our developments for unit the standard field is zero unit so to cover this concept i am not creating these three info objects okay so we identified the info objects okay um, for all now let's uh, what we do next um, we identify the info objects and then shall we create ads for <laughs> ADS for topic I'm not yet started right first I need to go over the info objects only so yeah we identify the info objects but one thing is whatever standard info objects given by SAP may not be active every time okay let me search uh, how to search whether my required info object is available in my system or not so let me go here to the search button BW search option okay go here provide the info object name zero cal day uh, you know then click on search if it is available you know it will comes under my search results you see zero cal day is available it is available in system if i double click on it it comes you see zero cal day is came so zero cal day is a reference to zero day i will tell you what is reference date but you see the length is 18 output length is 10 so now let's talk about this one if you see the data type of dates here in sap bw in sap system any date is having uh, will be saved in the database in the form of yyyy mm dd this is the standard format which sap stores any date in its database here i given date in a different format right but for because it is a starting to understand better i given date in this format but actually when we load when we loading data into any bw system we need to give date in this format it means 2022 then 03 month and then 01 date in this format i need to provide the date okay so how to create uh, so this is one topic and the next one is quantity okay so let me search whether i have zero quantity available in my system or not go to bw object search zero quantity enter okay you see zero quantity found here so double go to zero quantity now you see i have zero quantity but uh, okay to cover this standard info object topic i didn't created these info objects okay when i come but now let's go and create info objects okay even though we have standard but we need to know right how to create each and every info object so let's go and create a date field okay as uh, followed zsr underscore date is my uh, technical name of, of my info object okay oh, where is g g sir and then date or else uh, we, i can give created on okay and then go to data type here data type you need to change it to dates you see whenever it is date it system itself saying it should should be in yyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
okay so you see uh, it is not asking for any length why because system will take everything since we set it the date format system knows how much length everything so we no need to provide anything just activate it that's it now let's create quantity also right click create, uh, okay quantity what is quantity quantity is a key figure so you cannot create this quantity by clicking on the right click on the characteristic when you want to create key figure always better to create right click on the info area okay i am right clicking on info area again go into new and then select new info object and then going here here i have a object type as key figure okay and then i am giving my jsr underscore quantity q u a n okay here i am giving quantity and then see see data type is key figure what is the uh, info object type is key figure but what is my data type my data type is nothing but here quantity okay i need to select q a a q a n okay and then click on finish info object type is key figure and my data type is quantity okay so in key figures Mm, okay 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 we didn't uh, talk about key figures right we have many other types of key figures also okay <coughs> uh, okay uh, next we will see that one here when you are defining a quantity info object you no need to define any length at all system will take off uh, based upon the data type you selected here okay and then just simply click on activate you see whenever i activate you see a new folder created for key figures under this key figures i will get so it got you see my quantity i activated my quantity but it was not activated i got one error message here okay what is the error message enter either unit info object or fixed currency or unit okay so what it means whenever you are creating a quantity or or amount field you always need to specify the corresponding unit i already explained you right quantity always prefixed with like uh, must be given with the corresponding unit currency also same way whenever you are creating a currency column you must say what was the corresponding unit so my quantity relevant information uh, the unit information will be stored on zero unit so i need to give that zero unit here where i need to specify my unit here here you see currency or unit is one tab is there here is it fixed unit or unit info object in my data i am storing unit information on a separate column it means i need i am saying unit info object and here i need to say zero unit okay and then click on enter now activate it quantities we need to specify corresponding unit info object also then only it will activate you see now it was activated successfully without any errors like this so now for today we will finish at this point and uh, i can give you some assignment for you to create some info objects okay so to learn how, how to create info objects so i can provide some assignment to you so let me create um, yeah okay fine so what was the assignment uh, create in below info objects okay so info objects for delivery number try to create give your own, own naming convention so that you get to know how to give the you know when we see the naming name technical name of the info object it must give some clue to us what it may be okay because uh, in a bw environment it is not always possible to see technical name and text together okay if technical name we can see text won't appear on that screen so if text is appearing technical name won't appear that's why uh based upon text we can we may identify what is an info object but technical name also must be in a good manner so that it is easily be recognizable by its technical name okay so try to provide your own technical names for delivery number serial number okay and then uh, um, discount uh, uh let's see like uh, tomorrow we discuss the uh, what each and everything uh, let's just try to identify yourself which comes under cap which comes under key figure or else i can ask right now itself in this session let's see at the end of we can see discount uh, percentage and then total uh, and then city and then what else uh, and zip code 
ओके एम्प्लॉय आईडी देन मार्क्स व्हाट इल्स आई कैन गिव ग्रेड Uh, that's it and these are enough i think uh, so far okay description okay let's see so uh, you can some like uh, can you guess like a uh, delivery number comes under care or uh, key figure type hmm? yeah you can unmute yourself and tell whether uh, which uh, uh, delivery number comes under which data type So delivery number is like a characteristic info object, sir. Yeah, correct. And the serial number? Serial number, uh, if it is alphanumeric, then you can take a, a, a characteristic info object. If it contains only numbers, then we need to ke, take numc. Numc, but uh, info object type. This is we are talking about info object type. So only we have two info object types, characteristic or key figure. Now under which category the serial number falls? It, it falls under characteristics, sir. Yes. Discount? Discount, it is it is key, key, sir. Key figure, because we perform arithmetic operations yeah, yeah, yeah. on top of discount. Percentage? It's a key figure, sir. Total? Total is also a key figure. City? City is also, uh, sorry, city is characteristic info object. Yeah. Zip code? Zip code is characteristic info object. Employee ID. The employee ID is a characteristic info object. Marks. Marks is again key figure. Grade. Grade is characteristic info object. Description. Description is characteristic info object. Yeah, that's it. So when come to dates also, date. For example, if I take an any date created on, this is also initially a characteristic info object. In the characteristic info object, if I go for info data type, then it goes for a different thing. In data types, we have uh, care data type, dates, right, and uh, uh, time and unit. So, uh, NUMC, oh, sorry, NUMC, time, unit, four are there, right? So, in this four, this person, uh, for example, the serial number comes under NUMC data type, NUMC, okay? Serial number comes under NUMC, bill number comes under uh, care only and created on comes under date, data type, okay, like this. I hope this concept is clear. I'm stopping recording from here, okay. You try to create info objects of uh, uh, all these info objects on the system. Try to provide uh, relevant technical names. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm stopping recording here.